Have you ever heard of the power of ignoring a woman? You might have heard of it from some pickup artist guru somewhere. He might have told you that the more aloof you are around a woman, the more she'll like you. Now, is that really true? Well, guess what? The answer is yes, but only if you do it right. If you do it wrong, you'll end up missing some golden opportunities with women. Make no mistake, ignoring a woman can be a powerful attraction building tool. At the same time, it can also make her hate your guts for the rest of your life. So let's clear things up once and for all, shall we? This video will show you the right and wrong ways to ignore a woman, starting with the wrong ways. I'll show you the two biggest mistakes to avoid at all costs after you click the like button below. Go ahead, click like now. You're about to learn the psychology of ignoring a woman, starting with the wrong ways to do so. So what are the two biggest mistakes? Click like now and find out. Done? Excellent. So here are the two wrong ways to ignore a woman. The first wrong way is to only ignore her. Let's say you're at a party and you meet a woman for the first time. She's hot, but you don't want to show too much interest. So you decide to ignore her apart from the usual, hi, how's it going? Will that make her feel attracted to you? Definitely not, and here's why. If you ignore her at the very beginning of your interaction, she'll ignore you too. I mean, it's the logical thing for her to do, right? So you ignore her, she ends up ignoring you too, and the first spark of attraction never happens. That's the first wrong way to ignore a woman. Here's the second wrong way, when you ignore her when she's interested in you. Let's say you didn't just ignore the hot girl at the party. Instead, you chatted her up and had a few laughs. You discover you had a few shared interests, which is great. Then, suddenly, she shows her interest in you. Maybe she asks for your number, or she gets a little frisky on the dance floor, or when she catches you staring at her chest, she smiles and moves her hair out of the way, giving you a better view. So you think, oh wow, she likes me too, better play it cool, and start pretending to be aloof around her. It's times like this when ignoring her is exactly the wrong thing to do. Think about it. A woman usually does not reveal her affection to men she's not dating. Why not? It's because she's protecting their reputation. If people found out she was secretly trying to make a guy like her, they'll think she's slutty. And when people think a woman is slutty, word tends to get around. And before long, her life is ruined or close to it. So when a woman shows that first spark of attraction to you, she's taking a huge risk. And when you ignore her at that point, it's like you're pouring a bucket of water over that spark. So she takes a huge risk by showing you she likes you, and then you make it look like you're rejecting her. Needless to say, she'll hate your guts for life. This is what I meant when I said you'll miss some great opportunities with women if you ignore them the wrong way. So that leads us to the obvious next question. What's the right way to ignore a woman? It's called interest peaking, and I'll show it to you right after you click the subscribe button below. Click subscribe now. You're about to learn how to ignore a woman and make her feel not just attracted to you, but addicted to you too. Wouldn't it be great if you could make women feel addicted to you just by ignoring them? Absolutely. So click subscribe now and I'll show you how it's done. Have you subscribed? Great. So let me tell you all about interest peaking. This is a technique that was developed by my friend and mentor Derek Rake. Derek is a dating coach, but he's very much anti-pickup. In fact, he's so anti-pickup that his school, Shogun Method, teaches zero pickup tricks to its students. Instead, Shogun Method teaches men how to use mind control. Not the kind that you see in cartoons, by the way. This mind control is the kind that cures depression, phobias, and trauma. Likewise, the psychology of ignoring a woman is only understood through mind control. That leads us to interest peaking which is pretty much the only right way to ignore a woman. Here's how it works. First, you show her some interest or affection, just enough to make her respond warmly. For instance, let's say you met that hot girl at the party and chatted her up. You find a few shared interests, and she's excited about it. You then tell her, I like you, you're cool, 
Give me your number. We should totally hang out sometime. So she gives you her number and part ways. Now, instead of calling her up 24 hours later, which most pickup artists suggest you do, you actually don't. Instead, you ignore her by having zero contact with her for a week or so until she contacts you first. Then you show interest again, just to move your relationship one step forward. For instance, you go out on a date with her and you make sure it's loads of fun for both of you. And after the date, you ignore her again for a week or so. Then you move the relationship forward again by doing something super fun with her. Rinse and repeat. That's interest peaking. It may seem counterintuitive, and yet there's some heavy-duty mind control going on in the background. Interest peaking, as the name implies, peaks her interest over time. On the days you ignore her, you actually make her think of you. She wonders if she'll ever enjoy such a great time with you again. The more she thinks about you, the more she wants to see you again. And the more you do fun things with her, the stronger her attraction becomes. And the more time you ignore her between dates, the more she misses you and wants to see you. Until one day, she can't hold it in anymore. She goes ahead and confesses her feelings for you, or she just goes ahead and kisses you. When that happens, congratulations, you've successfully made her fall in love with you by ignoring her. Now, as powerful as interest peaking is, it's easy to see its drawbacks. Namely, it takes time before you get the results you want, normally at least a few weeks. Plus, you need to be a master at planning fun dates. That can be a challenge for you. So the next question is this, what if you wanted her to feel attracted to you right now? Is that even possible? The answer is yes, and it's by using another mind control technique, fractionation. So what's fractionation all about? Put simply, it's a storytelling technique that's designed to do one thing, and that is to quickly put a woman on intense emotional roller coasters. Why? It's all because of a little known flaw in the female mind. Every healthy woman has a weakness for emotional roller coasters. To be precise, emotional thrill rides have an addiction forming effect on her. The more she goes on emotional roller coasters, the more addicted she feels to you. That's where fractionation gets its tremendous power. By using the right stories, you can put her on multiple emotional roller coasters at once. And she can develop an irresistible addiction to you in that space of time. Wouldn't it be great to have that kind of skill? Well, here's some good news. You can master fractionation today. Here's how. In just a moment, a link will come up inside this video. When you see it, click on it. You'll be sent to a special online masterclass on mind control. In that masterclass, Derek Rake himself will teach you all about fractionation. You'll learn what it is, how it works, and real-world examples of how to use it. By the end of the masterclass, you'll know the secrets of making women addicted to you, using nothing more than your words. Trust me, if you only had time to master one mind control technique, this should be it. Want to learn how to make women love you with just one conversation? Then click the link and join Derek's online masterclass now. Do it.